Tada! And hello and a very warm welcome to all of you. This is, as you all see, Master Chef Elton Turner back once again for more nice cooking experiences with you all. So let's go over to my outdoor kitchen. Come on, follow me here, please. Oh, yes. Oh yes, as you can see, I've prepared some nice things for today's dinner. And we're going to start, uh, and actually I'm going to tell you what it is. Yes, it's a mixture of Thai, uh, English, proper English, and Swedish cuisine. So it's kind of a crossover kitchen we are dealing with here today, alright? So I'm going to start with this one, the stew. This is the main foundation, the, the, the brick stones. The backbone in this stew yeah it's from Thailand so it's Thai food that we made two years back and we just put it outdoors for letting it uh, let it to cool down a bit before serving and then we forgot it so it's now it has this really nice mature uh, aged flavor to it but unfortunately the lid is stuck so but I have some tools here, so I can I can open it. Right, good. Okay, let's have a little look inside. So this is the result. You see noodles here, noodles, yes. And it's a bit dry, as you can probably notice. So I need to I need to fresh this up a bit, you know, before eating it. So then I have this British thing that we call clotted cream. It's very nice when you have biscuits and such. So I, you just take a lot of cream, heat it and stir it firmly and so on and let it be on the, on, the, on the heater for a while and then just toss it up in a little can and leave it in the fridge for about six, seven months. So this is the result then, right? Good. So we take a, a spoon, just toss this in. Oh, don't mind the smoke. So, okay, good. And then we need some heat. So we're gonna add this, chunky salsa. It's very nice. So we actually have this one from, uh, from uh, Mexico. You, you, can, you can see it's covered by Mexican mold. It's very nice, matured, nice salsa like that. And then for some more British flavor, rum butter. It's very nice, rum butter. As you can all see, March, 2018 now it's May 2019 so it's been properly aged and matured in the fridge just put a few slices of that inside here take some cottage cheese just add that and uh, yeah and for the Christmas feel we have actually two ingredients we have porridge nice rice porridge that we in Sweden eat every Christmas as you in England eat turkey we eat this porridge instead yeah and then also some cookie dough from gingerbread cookies that we usually bake so I just I'm just going to crumble this on like that all right so we get this little Christmas touch we have peppers this one is actually quite fresh so I'm gonna leave that one out and I'm going to go with this one instead that's been aged and matured uh, probably st stored in a dry cabin for uh, like uh, half a year or something so I, I just I, yeah I do like this with that one good and then some fennis also dried you know when you dry things it's actually bringing out the flavors extra you know it's very nice to dry things like that so yeah, and we have some um, pomme de granate. Just explode that one into the stew. Don't mind if the the peel here comes along with it. This, this is okay, as long as you can you can have some custard on top of it. We have this extra nice custard that we're just going to blend into this one. Oh, there, there, you see. The big clump just gone into that, yes, very nice, very lovely. And of course, caviar, because this is a luxury meal. So some caviar.
and of course for the protein some beans nice matured Ooh, like, like the smell is cheese it is the scent of that one yes we put that one in here and then for the vitamins and for also the, the color some beetroot uh, mixture like that good and finally yeah I, I, I almost forgot some tomatoes as well and some Christmas sausage that's been aged and uh, stored in a hot place so it's turned into some kind of a yeah some kind of a fudge thing here yeah? I don't know really yeah okay and always when you cook with Elton Turner no Elton Turner dish is completed unless you have some cheese in it as you all know that's why I have these two sorts of cheese this one and also my favorite matured cheese this is a cheddar from Lanchester and you can see the nice color of it it actually tastes and uh, smells kind of nasty but I put this one in it's almost like a pate now since it's been aged properly properly I said do you need to stir this firmly for a while okay so this British Thai Swedish stew oh yeah I forgot this one is actually going to be a cake surprisingly enough so I have to form this into a nice round thing put some pomme de grenade on the top and yeah something like that now it's kind of nice to to eat this but of course before you eat it you have to cook it so I'm going to take this inside now just to prepare it a little bit in the oven and I'll be back soon okay tada okay everybody now I'm back again from the oven now the cake has been stirred and baked for 30 minutes and now I think you all are very excited about seeing the result of this crossover cake British Thai and Swedish tada look how lovely it looks and now let's see what all the children of the world thinks about it so tummy what do you think? In my tummy. Do you mean your tummy? Yeah, do you want some? Okay, yeah, we'll save it for later. Now it's going to have to be stored for two more years and then it's ready to eat. Bye bye now! <laughs>